Hello, everyone, and welcome to Teacher Talk, episode 43. Today, we're very lucky. We have Tamara O'Brien, a teacher who will demonstrate the use of puppets and props to engage children in musical activities. Tamara has produced some lovely resources for teaching, and how to access those resources will be shown to you at the end of this video. The other person that is contributing to today's video is Dr. Robin Staveley. Dr. Staveley has done her research on embodied cognition and the place of tools in teaching. Puppets and props are considered tools. Their use in the classroom make children more skillful and give them greater capacities for learning in whatever they do. So tools give children another way of expressing their musicality. If you get an opportunity to attend a workshop by Dr. Stavely, it's well worth it. So now we're going to have a look at Tamara O'Brien and her use of gorgeous puppets and how she gets engagement in her classroom. So enjoy. Hi, my name is Tamara O'Brien and I'd like to show you some ideas of using puppets and props in the music room. Puppets and props are a lovely creative way of introducing children to pitch, timbre, rhythm, imitation, improvisation, and many more, and especially drama. So I hope you have fun, and I think it might be time for us to go and meet some of these uh, fairy little friends. Dragon Dragon is a song that encourages imitation and improvisation, particularly with the voice. We have one child who has a dragon, and if you have two dragons, you can probably use that. They fly around the room to select a particular animal to sing with. So it involves the children doing a lot of listening to what the dragon is saying and either having a conversation with younger children or even imitating the same voice or sometimes even the same pictures. It's important to note, if you don't have puppets on any of these activities, you can substitute with a soft toy. So the children can make their soft toy or their teddy or whatever animal they enjoy using to be their particular animal that they get to make them speak. So you can ask them to bring in their favourite toys from home or something that was a special gift, or you could have a selection of your own toys where the children could use these doesn't always have to be a puppet, although with the older children, they do enjoy making it work and making it sing. Does everybody have one? Did I have enough? Oh, fantastic. Okay, your animal might like to play on your lap and every animal is going to play differently. Would you like your animal to perhaps show you how it can jump? Oh, very good. Perhaps it can do a little run or a fly to your other arm. And back again. Or perhaps it might like to do some rolls and just some wiggles. Lovely, well done. Well, my dragon here is looking for somebody to to play with and he's going to fly around dragon dragon in the sky who can he see with his little eye animals playing all around one he sees and flies to the ground hello parrot hello Jessica. how are you today i'm good oh very good let's do a bow and can i have a hug too Thank you. Dragon, dragon in the sky. Who can he see with his little eye? Animals playing all around. One he sees and flies to the ground. Hello, butterfly. Hello. How are you today? 
A dragon hugging a butterfly. <laughs> All right, so I'm looking to see who I can sing with. And you know what? I wonder if the animals can listen to my dragon's voice and use the same voice that he uses. Oh, what do you think? I might get some music. I particularly like the dragon to roar with that one. That should be interesting. <laughs> All right. Dragon, dragon in the sky, who can he see with his little eye? Animals playing all around, one he sees and flies to the ground. Hello, Echidna. Hello. Oh, how are you today? Grumpy. Oh. <laughs> well, me would you like a hug? Would you like oh. <laughs> Thank you. I wonder who he can see next. Dragon, dragon in the sky, who can he see with his little eye? Animals playing all around, one he sees and flies to the ground. Hello, chicken. <laughs> How are you today? <laughs> Would you like a hug? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I wonder who you can see next. Hmm. Can you help me with the singing? Yeah. Dragon, dragon in the sky, who can he see with his little eye? Animals playing all around, one he sees and flies to the ground. Hello, lion. Oh, how are you today? Oh, tired. Would you like me to have a little rest with you? Would you like a hug as well? <laughs> dragon, dragon in the sky, who can... I hope you enjoyed that. And thank you all for joining me today for Teacher Talk. And we hope to see you again next time. Bye for now.